The mother of slain Arkansas jogger Sydney Sutherland says she thinks her daughter murder and rape were premeditated acts of evil, after a judge found the suspected killer mentally fit to squake Llewellyn, 28, an Arkansas farmer, has been charged with capital murder, kidnapping, rape and abuse of corpse in connection with Sutherland's death in August when her body was recovered nearly a month later. Last week, a forensic psychologist submitted a report stating that Llewellyn did not lack the capacity to appreciate the criminality of his conduct, clearing the way for his being declared fit for to share this article share Sutherland's mother, Maggie Sutherland, weighed in on the case in a recent episode of Fox Nation's Crime Stories with Nancy Grace, saying that she was still struggling to come to terms with what had happened to her. Llewellyn told police and mental health experts that he was driving along the Jackson County Road 41 South on August 19th when he noticed Sutherland walking along a gravel. He initially drove past the woman, but then turned his truck around and struck her, according to court documents obtained by the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. And he then allegedly admitted to loading Sutherland's body onto his bed of truck and driving her to a deserted ride. Police said Llewellyn said he dug a hole, stripped off Sydney's clothes and tried messing with her a bit, which they say was he then buried her body. You could tell it's kind of premeditated, Mom Maggie said during this week's interview. When someone turns around and goes back, it just, to this day, gives me chills to even think, of, what he did to my daughter because it was just a very cruel, you know, he didn't just do one thing. He did everything, and it will never be out of my mind. It hurts deeply. During his psychiatric evaluation, Llewellyn revealed that he resumed his work immediately after the killing and spent several hours checking wells before he returned home, ate dinner and he just tried to forget about it. The psychologist wrote out Maggie Sutherland accused Llewellyn, whom she knew from living in the same community, of faking mental illness to avoid being held accountable for her daughter's death, saying, he knew what he Maggie previously said she feels Llewellyn, whom she described as a monster, is deserving of the death penalty and hopes he gets that sentence during his trial. She was reported missing after failing to return to the home she shared with her boyfriend of four years, Alex Nicholson. Police found her body two days later following a wide search operation using canine units and helicopter crew. They had previously located her iPhone about a quarter mile from her home. Authorities identified Llewellyn as a suspect after using data from his own cell phone that put him in the vicinity of where Sutherland's phone was found. Llewellyn and Sutherland were known to each other but the nature of their relationship relationship remain. He was arrested August 21, 2020 and is being held without bond at the Randolph County.